Hey, what's going on everyone? So at some point in the future, we would assume, probably and intelligently assume, that the Moro arc and Granola arcs are going to be adapted into an anime Dragon Ball Super some point in the future. But until then, there have been some really, really talented artists and animators that have put together what that may look like. And while I haven't watched this entire clip right here, which I'm going to react to here on this video, I did skim through it, and this is probably the closest anyone's come to actually, like, capturing what at least I want the super anime to look like. This artist right here, Mocha Z7, I believe that's the artist. We know that these are the voice actors right down here. I highlighted it right there on the screen. They, I'm going to give that a like, they, um have put together this incredible piece of work. It is a clip from what Dragon Ball Super Chapter 62 may look like if it becomes adapted. This is the closest anyone's come to really capturing that Shintani detailed Dragon Ball Super style that we all want to come back, that we all want to be part of the series from now on. And I cannot wait to watch this with y'all, yo. This is my official reaction. If you are new here, hit subscribe and Push the bell as well because YouTube's broken. We talk about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, and Super on this channel. Bring you news and updates as well as videos like this one, analysis, and historical stuff. So today, let's react to Dragon Ball Super 62 fan animation, English dub. So they do basically voices that are meant to mimic Sean Shemmel, Chris Sabat, etc. Moro versus Vegeta. Like I said, I skimmed through it, and the art is beautiful. Let's break this down, okay? Please support the official release. Yep. And we've got the, the, the music as well, man. Sumitomo. Look at the art, bro. <laughs> Woo! As seven threes, power has been added to your strength. Indeed. Damn it! It's one thing after another with this guy. It's not Shemmel, but I see he's trying to do a Shemmel. He's not doing a terrible job. It's actually pretty... It's not great, but it, it, he's trying. Like, it doesn't sound like Sean, but it's hard to sound like Sean. Vegeta! <laughs> is that so? Um, the animation's obviously a little wonky, but the art is amazingly detailed. Look at the art. I mean, look at the details, the shadows. It, it's beautiful. It's it, it's beautiful, yo. It's like Takahashi style. So I'll tear you apart once again. Four spirit vision, baby. I love it. I love the crater, and I love the way he uses colors here. I just want to pause it for, for a moment. Um, I, I like what he's doing so far. Again, the animation is going to be a little bit slippery because doing frame-by-frame frame cell animation takes forever, which is probably why... Well, not why. That's a reason as to why Dragon Ball Super, the anime um, superhero, the movie, is switching to a different style, to a computer-based style, because it does take a very long time to make something like this, y'all. I love this shot right here. That close-up is awesome. Sound effects are on point. I wonder, I wonder where he got those sound effects from. Like, is there like a, and excuse my ignorance, is there like a database online that has all Dragon Ball sound effects? Or do these guys who do these fan animations, they just rip it off the web, and, or rip, sorry, rip it off the episodes and then edit it in? 
Because I feel like there's got to be somewhere on the internet that has all of these like stockpiled and easy to find. I'm sure somebody out there has it. I've just never seen it before, but I'm sure someone has it. Your new technique requires you to inflict damage first. Not a lot of animation, but that's okay. I won't make the same mistake twice. Damage! Vegeta! He might have absorbed 7-3's abilities, but the rule says it only lasts 30 minutes. What? Right. He'll be back to his former strength if we run out of clock. <laughs> this power has returned home. There is no time limit. In fact... Huh? Oh, caught. It's time to suck your power. I like that. Although, although I will say, if this were actually Dragon Ball Super, the music would probably be cut off here, and they would just zoom in on that the the vegeta power being in, in in the palm of moro's hand you know i like this this piece of art right here that 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 vegeta's look right there um dude the like i said the art is fantastic this dude should be doing portraits and selling them at conventions and hell i don't even, maybe he does i don't know this person but if you're out there watching man you're a real talented dude man mad props to you i i, I love my dragon ball i just don't have any artistic talent but i respect all the artists who put in their work and, and make the series look great. What's going on? I've gained this copy ability. Uh oh, yellow aura. Moro, that scum. Did he just copy the cheetah? What's this copy thing you keep talking about? 7 3 could copy a person's abilities by grabbing their neck. I think he managed to copy Vegeta. His abilities, huh? The superheroes are still far from reaching victory. Narrator. Now Moro is stronger, using 7-3's copy ability to gain God Key from Vegeta. What is the last hope for the Z-Team? Find out next time. Thanks for watching, Wolf. Like, share, and subscribe, or I let Muru conquer your planet. I uh, that's fun, man. That is a fun fan animation, and the like I said, the art is fantastic. Like when they actually animate this into Super, I really because this looks a little bit more like the colors on this look actually in some ways better than a lot of the Super episodes, y'all. Look at the colors. When they actually do animate this, I really hope that they, I really, really hope that they um, make it look as good as this, if not better. Obviously, it's going to be more fluid animation. You have professionals doing it, um, so you would assume so. But the colors here are so vibrant and nice. And the moral arc seems to be a very colorful art based on the colored manga chapters. It looks great. So when it gets animated, I feel like it'll be something special. Um, and I hope that they actually add some backstory and more padding out to give us more explanation on things. Anyways, with that being said, that's it for the video. What did you think about this animation? Let me know. Subscribe. Hit the like button now. I'll talk to you soon.